Um, my name is Audrey Komozo. I'm from Botswana. I work for the Ministry of Land Management, Water and Sanitation Services as a water engineer. Uh, I have a BSc in Civil Engineering and my MSc is in Water Resources and Environmental Engineering. Uh, my name is Salma Kananjebo uh, from Namibia. I work for the Ministry of Agriculture, Water and Forestry um, under the Department of Water Affairs. I'm also currently doing my master's uh, degree in natural resource management and currently I hold a honors degree in the same program. Uh, so uh, in Namibia I work as a hydrological technician uh, with uh, water division. Yes, my name is Diana Humulisa and I come from Rwanda. Um, my background is in water governance and currently I'm doing my master's um, in Algeria um, but I worked for Rwanda Water Partnership so I'm on, a, I'm on a study leave and I'm writing my thesis now and I got this opportunity of coming here and do this short course about uh, IWRM and um, as a tool for adaptation of climate change which is going to contribute not only on the work that I do with the Rwanda Water Partnership but also with my thesis. IHG Delft was an eye-opener. Uh, the lecturers are quite um, well-versed. They, they know a lot of things. They've done research in many different places. And so they know a lot of different situations and, ex and, and they're able to express that to us when they teach. And the environment is a multicultural one. So there are many students from many different places and it's very nice to hear what other people are experiencing in their d different countries. It has been a wonderful experience here, especially that uh, the institution have um, different students from different backgrounds. So we interact and get to learn more about issues on water resource management around the world. Uh, the lecturers and the guest lecturers are, are great. Uh, they have a lot of experience in what they do and um, it's, it's really good that we get to be exposed to this um, environment and to learn more about what is happening out there in the world. Yeah, my experience so far, it is, it is a very um, exciting and amazing journey um, for the few weeks that I've been here. It is amazing of, um, on how um, what you can learn in such a short time. Um, what amazes me most is meeting people from um, all over the world, from countries that I, I didn't even know or some people I meet them and I'm like, it's my first time to meet someone from this country and get to share the experiences and you get to realize that in some way in, we, um, we, we face almost similar challenges when it comes to water resources management and especially with climate change it's a global thing so uh, i think it is it is a good platform where people meet from all over the world and sit together and look for solutions for this glo for these global challenges Let my colleagues know uh, what, I've, what I've learned. Um, my, by coming here, I learned how um, technology has advanced in terms of fecal sludge management. I'm currently doing a, a short course on fecal sludge management. And I've learned that uh, there are so many advancements in technologies that have, have taken place. So it would be nice to share my, my knowledge with my colleagues. Uh, that's for the immediate future, but for the long term, I really hope to pursue my, my PhD because I realize that there's so much to learn in this field, so that's really what I intend on doing, yeah. Okay. Um, what I plan to do, I, I want to, of course, finish my master's 
by next year um, and I want to help my country like with the water issue challenge especially the water scarcity and the water pollution so I'm planning in future to be a leading um, a leader in the water sector yes. yeah uh, my ambitions is um, as I'm getting knowledge um, that is I can call that I can call international. I'm hoping that, and um, I'm hoping that uh, the knowledge um, I acquire from here, I'll use I'll use it to develop my country to um, to give solutions to the challenges that we use, uh, that we face, especially with water management. And one thing that I've realized is that we don't have so many women in, um, in decision making, especially in developing countries like mine, um, Rwanda. So um, um, this is a good thing that I'll be able to now, I, I can now go and compete with men and say this, I, I, I have some tangible knowledge that I can use to develop my country.